God, in the name of Jesus, we praise you today for that which is in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you are mindful of the needs of every listener. Those who have need of healing today, we lose the healing virtue of Jesus Christ. And we believe you, Lord, that you will give deliverance. For with his stripes, the stripes of Jesus, the suffering that was received in the atonement, we receive healing in the name of Jesus for the glory of God. God bless every one of you. Certainly this is the day that the Lord has made and we rejoice in it. It is wonderful that we have God, Jehovah, El Shaddai, that we have him to look to and wise people still seek him. God sent Jesus. We want to understand that God sent Jesus, born of a woman, was raised in Nazareth, went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Even so now, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, he is ever present to heal. There are many people that are oppressed of the devil. Well, Jesus said, in my name shall you cast out devils, casting devils out of the mind, out of the will, out of the bodies, their influence. We have such demonic influence now in the United States, but in the name of Jesus, the devil is casted out. What is being said here? Healing is the children's bread. There was a woman whose daughter was possessed by an unclean spirit. She went to Jesus, asking Jesus to heal her daughter. And for a while, Jesus, a man, waited. But because of the woman's faith, Jesus spoke a word to the woman. The devil is gone out of your daughter. There are many of our young people now that have become recipients of devils. They're demons that are housed in their bodies, that are housed in their spirits, and that control their minds. But God is a healer. For he was wounded. Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. That includes demonic activity. Young people can be delivered. Young people can be set free. Through the power of God. And definitely that is the need now. All over the land and country. Our young people, many of them need deliverance from devils. That control their lives. That control their minds. That control their activities. And there are young people who are under the control of other people who are rulers of the darkness of this world. Other people who themselves are demon-possessed. So what is it? We're at war, and we war a good warfare. Our weapons are in God. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And one thing that God gave us, and that is the power that is in the name 
of Jesus. So we look to him at this time. Amen. Those of you that are listeners, I'm encouraging you, send this podcast to someone else who is a parent, who is an aunt, who is an uncle, who is a grandparent, who is a sister, who is a brother of a young person who is in need of deliverance. The Lord promised that he would deliver. And so, therefore, we look to him. And with his stripes, we are healed. We take authority now in the name of Jesus. Because of the finished work of Calvary. In the name of Jesus, those of you that have children, we are touching and we are agreeing for your children, for our children, that our children would no longer be controlled, manipulated, possessed, obsessed by demons, demon activity. The power of God prevails against demon activity in the name of Jesus. So, we look to the Lord now. God, in the name of Jesus, those that are hearers, those that are believers, those that will receive your word, God, we look to you in the name of Jesus for the mighty power of God to deliver among our young people that they can be fruitful in you. In the name of Jesus, that their minds can have productivity that will bring prosperity. We rebuke the spirit of lack. We rebuke the spirit of poverty. In the name of Jesus, we bind foolishness right now. And we lose wisdom on our youth. In the name of Jesus, we send your word for healing among our children. Healing among our youth and any others that need your Lord. In the name of Jesus. And we declare and we decree and we touch and agree that we shall overcome. In Jesus' name, well, beloved, if you are listening and you have not totally surrendered your life to Jesus, let me encourage you to do it today or whenever you're listening to this podcast. Jesus was wounded. He was nailed to the tree, to the cross. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Yes, Jesus received that which should have gone upon many men, many women. But Jesus received the punishment. His visage was marred more than any man. The way that people looked at Jesus, the way that they perceived Jesus was changed. And he became despised. And thereby rejected. He has paid the price to prevail. He is the one that we look to. And the Bible says concerning God. And when he, God, shall see the travail of his. Talking about Jesus' soul. He shall be satisfied. So therefore we have an advocate. We have an answer. And that answer is in Jesus Christ. So as we go off today, I'm going to ask you to give, to send your offering to dollar sign, Apostle Jean Morris Men. That is our cash app address. Those of you that have Zelle, you can send it to Zelle. Apostle J M at Gmail 
gmail.com. All small letters. Our Gmail address. A-P-O-S-T-L-E-J-M at gmail.com. Be blessed through your giving. There's a way that we heal our finances. It is having faith in God and faith that will cause us to release finance from ourselves to go to others. We give. And in giving, we activate the seed of prosperity. Yes, we give. And the Bible has declared, give and it shall be given unto you. So in doing that, we heal our prosperity lack and we heal ourselves. Well, bless you now. Until tomorrow.